Okay, I promised I would do a video on this, so this is going to be an unboxing video on a Fresh Air Acrylic Atrium by uh, Zilla. And um, this box is huge. I'm not sure what the parts look like. I haven't even opened it yet, so um, I'm going to crack the box and uh, we'll get started. Alright guys, here we go. Um, this is how it comes. This is a pretty large panel. So I'm going to start pulling pieces out. Um, this, you guys can see they're all lettered. Um, I think this is the screen top. Oh, look. Hardware. Okay. I think this is the front screen panel. Um, this is top on it. Okay. So a little piece. Hopefully I'm getting down there. There's a ton of parts in this box. Okay. Um, oh, here's the door. You guys can see it's about as wide as my hand. I'd say four inches wide. Or maybe that's just a door panel. Pretty small door. Okay, the final piece. Alright everybody, this is what it looks like right out of the box. So, uh, pretty different from an uh, Zoomed glass um, terrarium or an Exoterra glass terrarium. Um, it comes in pieces, but I guess that's why it's so cheap. These are about half as much as an Exoterra of comparable size. So, um, oddly enough, the directions are on the box. So, I will be following these beautiful step-by-step -step directions. And, um, I'll take a couple clips. I mean, I'll try to do one on, at each step. So, this is our starting point. And we'll go from there. And then, um, as you guys can see, this stuff looks really cloudy. Um, all of this has to be peeled. Um acrylic stuff is coated in plastic to protect um the like the pain of acrylic itself or plexiglass it's also called so I'm gonna start peeling this stuff or I guess man I think you have to leave the acrylic on or like the sheeting on when you're putting it together because how else am I gonna know which parts these are so well it should be an interesting experience to see how it peels after they're all assembled okay here we go. Alright you guys, we're just going to call this the time lapse. Um, as you guys can see, I've put quite a few pieces together. Um, I can't say that it's been easy. Uh, let me read you from the assembly instructions. It says, assemble with all decals facing out. Tools needed. Phillips screwdriver, um, the hardware provided, um, the screw and finished nut, one set of that, and four hinge screws. Um, all the little parts have, let me show you, have these nice decals on them. So uh, they are clearly labeled. But I'm going to tell you right now that this is not all you need. Um, you are screwing uh, little tiny screws um, that look, where's my bag of screws, that look a lot like this into a, uh, an aluminum frame. Aluminum is metal. Um, the holes that the screws go into are smaller than the actual screw so that the fit is tight and uh, it's really difficult to get them in there. Um, which is why I didn't film all of this being put together because there's a lot of um, assembly involved. But I'm going to show you what screwing in one of these looks like. You ready for this? Here we go. Okay. I have my screw. I'm going to set it in there. Try to get it level. Okay. Come on. Okay. As you guys can see, they don't just slide right in there. Now I'm going to use the screwdriver to try and get her in there. As you can see, that's about as far as the screwdriver will take us. Um, 
Then I bring out this puppy. This has been my best friend and I'm not very tool savvy so I don't even know what this is called but um, I would advise that you have one of these when you put this together. Now I'll show you what I've been doing to get them the rest of the way in. It's a pain in the butt and I'm sure it's a real riveting process to watch. I mean, I know you guys are just loving this. Okay. Alright, now that I've got this screw started a little more, let's try see if we can get this screwdriver to help us. Oh, we cannot. So. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. It went in crooked. Alright. That happens. Um, the screw isn't bent, it's just went in there on the fittings wrong. Almost wish, makes me wish this went together with a hammer and nails instead of screws. Come on, screw. Don't do this to me. Okay. It helps if I hold this wrench flat against the um, bars and then slightly rotate and turn. Win! Okay, I finally did get it in. Um, real fun to watch, right? You can uh, thank me for not showing this one and 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 all these being put in. Okay, now I'm going to flip this puppy upright and we'll show you what we have so far. Alright, it's finished um, and it looks great. Uh, it's a very sturdy cage. It's uh, light because it's made out of acrylic and an aluminum frame. So it is um, very transportable. Um, much lighter than a glass cage. I think for the money it's a really great deal. Um, it's about the same size as an 18 by 18 by 18 Exoterra and half the cost. These cages retail right around $39. And then um, if you can't find it local, about $10 for shipping. So, the process, it was a learning process. I'm hoping this video will help people not struggle with um, assembly as much as I did. So, um, but overall, I think it's worth it. You know, a few bumps along the way are worth it for a really nice cage. So, um, I'm going to walk you through it right now with the camera. All right, everybody, here she is. This is a Arzilla Acrylic Atrium. And um, let me open the door for you real quick the camera down so it doesn't wobble. There's two latches on the door that look like this, but there isn't a handle, so I might build a handle and just glue right here, glue it right here so I have an easier way to open it. But the door swings right open, and uh, there's quite a decent amount of space in here. This um, plug back here is for um, cords or like a, a little dripper um, tube or anything like that that you need to assemble or through there. Um, I'm not going to need that so I'm just leaving it intact. Um, like I said, acrylic, acrylic, acrylic. This bottom is PVC. This front panel is screen and I think that the front panel is screen so that if you stack these enclosures it doesn't um, fully like take away the ventilation because the top is a screen as well. Um, this little panel right here is acrylic and then this side is acrylic. So a really nice cage for your dollar. The door looks like closed. Step back so you guys can see it. Um, I'll do a video when I set it up. I don't have all my supplies right now to set it up but I will take a video once it's done. And there we have it.